Hey guys, welcome back. It's Maverick here today with another episode of Shaman King as I quickly try and catch up to the latest episode. So, anyways, last episode, uh, we are in a bit of a pickle, right? We got two battles going on, one side with Ren pretty much out of commission already. Um, well, that's kind of putting it lightly. And uh, with Horohoro and Chocolove being severely outmatched, right? And then on the other side, we got um, also House minions going around picking on Mickey's teammates, uh, but uh, of course, intercepting them are our badass uh, female protagonists, right? Uh, of course, led by the uh, ever um, beautiful Anna. So, uh, and then of course we also still have Yo running around, not quite sure which part he's gonna join yet. Well, I guess we shall find out in this episode, right? So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, let's begin in three, two, one, play. Oh, it sounds like broke. Hey, there we go. See? I knew we were going to get a new opening. Okay, we're going with a much more fury song, I guess you could say. I wonder if uh, Hashibara-san is still singing this. Or is it... Hey. Yeah, I can't wait for that part. Oh, Mizuki Nana. All right. I wasn't expecting that, actually. I mean, this is certainly a song that's, uh, quite up her alley, I guess you could say. Oh, that's kind of spoilers, though, to be honest. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> they actually made the reference to that. Oh my god. Oh, they made a reference to that <laughs> joke of an ending, I gotta say. Oh, that is hilarious. That is hilarious. Manga readers will know exactly what I'm talking about. If that giant how in the background. You know, they press them, I guess. True. Or, you know, your ELO. Like, ladder anxiety. Like, if you play chess, if you play League of Legends, Dota. Anything that has a ladder system or whatnot.
Right. And they mentioned before that house is like over a million, right? I believe uh, Yo's at this point is about 10,000, I think. Yeah, yeah, he, he said 10,000, right? Oh! <laughs> nice. Uh, the translation there should be, that mean, I can still be friends, or he's still a friend of mine, I guess you could say. I guess the translator took some liberties. To be honest, I feel like Yo could probably take on all three of them by himself at this point. To be honest, you would think you would already be dead on impact with those kinds of injuries. Like literally his entire heart, lung... It's not like just a little slit. It's like a huge prop. Oh wait, it's... Oh, it's the episode after this, actually, the flashback episode? Oh my god. I may just have to carry on. Oh, we're ending it this fast? No, 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 not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. I'm sure not yet. I need to take a look after this, because if it is, you know, I can't really, even if it cuts into my sleeping time or whatnot, I'm gonna have to take a look at it.
Huh, they are really going to finish this. I mean, this episode is called Yo's Decision, so... Hey, which side is hotter? Anna! <laughs> yeah, these are the original noise actresses. Hmm. I actually completely forgot that she was called Bismarck. <laughs> I mean, I'll be fully honest, during this fight, I was actually, like, flipping through it really quickly back in the manga because I wanted to get back to Yo's side and what happened to Ren and all that. Knights against a martial arts practitioner. Oof. <laughs> oh wait, I kind of forgot about this part to be honest. <laughs> wait, this happened? I don't know why, I have completely no memories of this. What the hell? Just a spoiler alert, guys. This is not the last time we're gonna have some mecha in in Shaman King. <laughs> uh. 
Yeah, I love Anna. Yeah, I admit though, Bismarck has a nice body. All right, all right, come on, come on. Shut up, Marco. She's a maiden, so she's dressed in maid uh, costumes. Makes perfect sense, right? <laughs> but for real though, this looks much better than her usual attire, I gotta see. Now, to be honest, this this doesn't really make much sense, right? When Yo was put under like a you know a near death situation, he did not increase nearly that much. Although, to be fair though, like if we were looking at this calmly and logically, it doesn't really matter uh, how far uh, Yo goes, right? Because how was destined to win? He said as much a few episodes ago, right? Although later on it is made clear that it still actually has some consequences, but that's for later on.
what he's saying doesn't really make much sense, but, you know, his pride has been crushed. What he believes in has been crushed. Come on, Marco, hurry up. I mean, they do practice what they preach, right? The ex laws literally give up their lives for the cause. So, you know, that is what they believe in. As much as, you know, Mako really deserves a punch in the face right now, but still. Still. Anna. Yeah. <laughs> oh, do we have a new ending song as well? Okay. Oh. Oh, damn. This is an important character, by the way, who we'll learn about very, very soon. I think this is actually saying by him. Dang that ending animation though That foreshadowing uh. Alright I am satisfied Thank you guys I'll see you guys next time Oh man this episode definitely has a lot of hype moments for me not not the actual uh, not the actual story itself, right? I mean, obviously, as someone who's already read all this before, I can't really... 
you know, it, it is an important decision, right? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie about that. But even during reading the, the manga, I was like, okay, come on. At the very, you know, this is still a shonen series, right? Obviously, something is gonna happen in the future and whatnot. So this can't be the end, right? But um, you know, it is important, and yeah, I get it. But more importantly, though, more importantly, so many things stuffed into this episode. Like I've said again and again, right? I feel like this 20th anniversary uh re. Um, remaking of the Shaman King anime really is for the fans. Um, if you're a, a new, a first timer uh, coming into this series, I, I still highly recommend you read the manga instead. Um, they do kind of, I mean, at this point, I can't really say it's it's cutting out too much stuff. Uh, I think right now the pacing is still is is actually relatively fine, all things considered. Uh, they're not really skipping out on a lot of important stuff, and that's important, right? Because in, in these next few episodes we have here, there's gonna be some really, really important stuff, right? Like, especially the arc that I am most looking forward to, the osarai san uh, Rivora arc. But, but, we'll get that later on. Um, I think there's still uh, maybe two or three episodes before we get into that, um, and I am definitely not going to miss that. Um, and, you know, it is a little bit... Um, there was already a little bit of foreshadowing here, right? Like, at the very end there, with Yo's uh, name drop at the very end, I'm sorry, Anna, right? Out of all those people, the last word that he had is, I'm sorry, Anna. Oh, that that is an important scene, all right? That is an important scene because, um, honestly, honestly, at that point within the, the, the manga, even though we know that Yo and Anna are a thing, and they obviously have a lot of of, of love for each other, uh, this was made pretty obvious quite early on, even though we know nothing about them, right? But here, um, this is the first hint of there actually being a lot more, right? They have a very, very rich and, and detailed backstory here, and we are just about to get into it. Uh, and so I am super excited for, for that. And, I mean, there's lots of other things to be excited for as well, right? And ha after having that, that scene, and then at the ending, we have a new ending song for First of all, that's that's one thing, and then the characters that appear in it, right? And the imagery of the ending. Oh my god, I I can't really go into much detail because that would be spoilers. But all I can say is that cat character that we see at the very end there, um, within the ending, you know, riding on a train and whatnot. In fact, that entire that entire imagery, those are important. Um, and we are actually going to be seeing that quite quite uh, quite soon as well. Um, Again, going back to the uh, the arc that I'm looking very, very forward to. So that, to me, honestly, more than anything else, is probably I can't really say the climax of the 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 Shaman King manga because there is obviously still like big battles uh, happening later on. But it is I feel like the most important turning point within Shaman King, uh, right? The the upcoming arcs. Um, so, yeah, there's going to be lots of backstories in there related to not just Yo and Anna, to be honest, but even many more characters as well. So, stay tuned for that. And, of course, the, the other big reference, I feel, within this episode is, uh, first of all, we got a new opening, right? Some by Na uh, Mizuki Nana, I mean, sure, sure, I... I thought that they would actually go with uh, two two Hashibara-san songs um, as they did within the original Shaman King anime, but you know I'm not I'm not too complaining. And like I said before, even in within the first opening, even though it's a bop and I like it, uh, I, I feel like Hashibara-san's voice really isn't what it used to be. I mean, she she can't really do the the uh, more girly Anna voice anymore. So um, you know she her voice is showing her ears, just like a lot of voice actresses are. Are showing their their limitations right now um, within the within the anime. So I can't fault them for that. You know, so be it. It is a bop as well. So good good on them, right? We we gotta have some good bops for for Shaman King here. But most importantly, though, obviously we we are uh, we we do go through a lot of spoilers within the opening, including some abilities they get and and whatnot. But I think most importantly is that ending. Uh, I don't know what you call it, right? Is, is it like a title screen or whatnot? Like the very last uh, still picture, still frame that, that they show there. Guys, look at Hal in the background, right? Look at what he is wearing. And oh my god, I can't believe they actually referenced that. But, um, oh man, that that is... Uh, would that be a spoiler? I guess that would be kind of a spoiler though. But basically that, 
the that that template there with the print with uh how wearing uh you know a princess dress and, and whatnot that is referring to one of the original endings of shaman king not the not the you know the final final ending right because there's there's various different endings here we got the original anime ending we got the first ending in the manga and then we got the final ending in the manga and whatnot and this is one of the original endings of the manga which um you know created quite a lot of controversy at that time because it was, um, let's just say it was not a complete and finished work, right? Heck, even the, the final Shaman King product, I would argue, is a bit flawed because, you know, mm, yeah, I don't want to get too much into that, but but honestly, uh, if you if you do read some, you know, th- there's a lot of works that are much more complete in, in how they set up the story and how they set up the fights and, and so on and so forth, and Shaman King is definitely not one of them, but even so, even so, though, uh, uh, as you guys might know, you know the whole reason why I'm still watching this in its anime form is because it, it does hold a special place in my heart, and I'm sure in a lot of you guys as well. I, I've mentioned before, I feel like a lot of people who are going to watch this uh, anime are probably longtime fans. I know that there are some of you guys out there who are first-time watchers, and, and good on you as well, but once again, I highly recommend you guys to go check out the manga. Uh, although, again, be warned that the ending, or, or you know, the latter chapters... Uh, are a little bit rough. They they are a little bit rough around the edges. I'm not gonna lie about that. So, but yeah, I I, I was just completely blown. Like I'm sure I am sure they are not going to stop at the uh, the first ending. If they do, that is going to be way too big of a tease, and they are gonna get some very very angry letters from fans. I'm gonna tell you that. So most probably this is more like an Easter egg of some sort that they put in just to allow you know fans of the series to look at it and and, and chuckle and go ah they actually put that in there right. So uh, good on them for that as well. Um, and yeah, and I basically didn't talk about anything within the the episode itself because I think it was it's fairly self uh, self explanatory. I mean, I mean, if I were to to nitpick a few things, um, you know, it, it's not really based on the adaptation itself. It's it's the actual story, right? This goes for the manga as well. There there are a few things that that make you go, hmm, why did it have to be this way? Like just off the top of my head, um, you know, how how big is this? Uh, is Yo dropping out of the Shaman King tournament when you know they they know that they can't go up against How anyways right we we've they've said as much Yo has said himself as much two episodes three episodes ago um, and of course uh, why did they only think of of Maiden right there's literally three um, there's literally three uh, main factions here disregarding uh, our protagonist faction. Um, you know, we got the X laws, we got how, and then we got uh, the other third, um, the other third party that we're not introduced to yet. Why not go to maybe even one of those um, those parties to to ask for a favor and whatnot? Heck, I mean, I would argue, I would actually argue that how himself might be willing to revive Rin, you know, just for just for uh, funs and giggles, to be honest. But you know, we we have to have this drama, and and um, I'm not I'm not gonna complain because this drama is what birthed like the the absolute fantastic arc that we're about to get into. So you can't really complain about that. But I'm just saying that it, it is kind of weird that this is the the first um this is the first thing that they think of, and the and you know, Maiden just so happens to do have the power to bring back people from the dead. Who knew, right? Um, but yeah. Uh, so beyond that, though, I mean, obviously, this this changes things a lot. As as mentioned here, once Ren comes back, his uh, his power level, his Furuku, is going to increase by at least fivefold, right? I mean, uh, Yo right now is about ten thousand. We can assume that Ren probably is not at his level yet. So, um, you know, this certain experience just is going to increase his abilities by. You know, perhaps even ten times and and whatnot. And fifty thousand that is a pretty damn respectable number. All right, all things considered. But then, uh, but then you know, it, if you really think about it, then you go back and say, hmm. So that time when Yo actually almost died, or some other character almost died, why didn't they get to uh, increase their Furoku by by that much? Don't question it. Just don't don't think about it. Like I love the series, but there are some things in it that um doesn't really add up all that well. But it's okay. We'll let it slide, right? Um, what else here? Uh, I mean, we got the entire battle going on. I-, I believe the next episode is probably going to touch on on the battle uh, from from Anna's perspective, right? We got the kids, we got the three ladies, uh, and then we got we got Anna's side uh, and whatnot. So we are going to circle back to that, I believe, in the next episode. And that is 
kind of sort of important as well. I'm not going to lie, but, um, you know, I, I'm going to be honest. I'm just waiting for the, the next big arc here. Uh, I, I just really want to push through this. I, is it unfair to this current arc? Maybe, maybe, but it's just because... Now, I think everybody who is a fan of Shaman King is looking forward to that next arc. So, all right, I don't want to sound like a broken record. Let's leave it at here. Anyways, I am super hyped for, for uh, this particular episode and what we saw in it and what's going to happen next. I can't wait. So again, though, I will be trying to quickly catch up and uh, definitely be catching up before the, the, the arc comes in. Um, again, just just look forward to me catching up. All right. So thank you guys and I will see you guys next time. Adios